This video shows you how to use the Eclipse IDE to allow you to work with Java projects that have preview features in them. Welcome to Tales from the Jar Side. Many developers are currently upgrading their Java versions. Java changes versions every six months now, and the long-term support period has cut down to two years. And as you can see from this table, many of the newer features, the interesting ones you want to use, go through a couple of preview versions before they're finally released. Switch Expressions, for example, was a preview in both 12 and 13, but then released in 14 text blocks you could see, seal classes, and so on. The one I really want to focus on right now is the pattern matching for Switch. The reason I want to focus on that is that it's been through four, count them, four previews, and is still not out yet. It's going to be released in Java 21, but Java 21 isn't available until September of this year. So how can you work with a project that has that in it inside the Eclipse IDE? It's a problem. You can't just upgrade to the latest version that has it in there and work with it to say nothing of working with new features like virtual threads, which also is not yet available. All right. Now I have a GitHub repository here in my account under my last name, Ken Cousin, K-O-U-S-E-N. And the name of the repository is Java underscore latest. And in this repository, I have the wide range of features. I've got records, I have sealed interfaces, I have the HTTP client. I've got a lot of stuff in there, including pattern matching for switch. <laughs> now I'm going to clone this repository. Let me do that. So I'll grab the link to it. I'm going to do this from the command line. Now the IDEs will normally let you automate this process. They'll work with Git repositories directly. But in this particular case, let me do the clone manually. So I'll say git clone, paste in my link, and now it's downloaded everything and it's available on my hard drive. Now the one that works the best, of course, is IntelliJ IDEA. This is IntelliJ IDEA. I'll click the open button. I will navigate to the project. And then what I generally find is the most reliable approach after that is to select the Gradle build file or the settings file, either one. When I hit open now, the project will say, do you want to open it as a file or a project? I want to open it as a project. And the project will be opened on my hard drive, and you can see Gradle will be downloading all the dependencies and configuring the project and making it available to me. Now, of course, even in IntelliJ, I immediately get this warning, Java preview features. Newer IDE versions may discontinue support for preview features. When Java 18 is released, support for 17 preview language level might be dropped. Now, why is it saying that? Well, if you look at the Gradle build file, what I've done is use the Java toolchain mechanism to say all I really need is Java 17 on this. So everything is based on 17. The other part I did is I wound up adding the enable preview flag to the application plugin and to the Java compile mechanism and also to the JVM args inside of tests. So this is all Gradle specific stuff but it makes it all work because I only need to enable preview somehow and this will all work with Java 17 with the preview features available. In fact, let me now demonstrate that if I go into my project on the astro, in the com.cousinit.astro package, here's a class called astro service and inside here I have pattern matching for switch. See the idea here is I say switch on response, which is in fact a result, and that is a sealed interface. It only has two possible types, success and failure, and look at the beautiful part of pattern matching for switch. I can declare the variable right in the case statement, and I only need as many case statements as I have possible permitted subclasses of the sealed interface. Now, you may follow that. You may find that interesting. That's neither here nor there. The point is, is doing this is a preview feature. It's not fully released yet. If I didn't have it, I'd have to do this if statement down at the bottom with the else clause and everything. 
but it's all working just fine. And I could run all my tests and all the tests would pass. In fact, if I run the test just to prove a point here, you can see I run them from Gradle and everything will be fine. It runs through them all, no problem. Unfortunately, Eclipse is not going to be so easy. Now, when I go to the top of this, of the build file rather, let me bring up the build file again. You can see that I added the Eclipse plugin because I want to generate the Eclipse project for me. I don't want to rely on Eclipse's internal functionality or even the build ship plugin inside of Eclipse. This is the Eclipse plugin for Gradle and it adds a clean Eclipse task and an Eclipse task to my build. So what I'm going to do now is in the project, let me go down into that project. I'm going to run on the Gradle wrapper, clean Eclipse and Eclipse. And there we go. Now I can go to Eclipse. This is the current version of the Eclipse IDE. For what it's worth, it is version 2023-03 more specifically 4.27.0. Now I'm going to import the project and under the general tab is existing projects into workspace. So I'll say next, I browse to the root directory of the project, which I'm ready to do. Notice it's already detected the project. I hit finish and there's my project with a bunch of errors in it, especially the error saying, oh, preview features enabled at an invalid source release, 17, preview can be enabled only at source level 19. So we're close, but we're not there yet. Now here's the frustrating part. If I go to the Eclipse preferences and I go down under Java to the compiler settings, then yeah, there's my compiler compliance level, 17. But notice the problem. Here's a setting called Enable Preview Features for Java 19. You can barely see it because it's grayed out. I can't check on it. I can clear other checkboxes and set them, but I can't do anything with that one. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, let me apply that and close. And instead, here's the trick. You right click on the project itself and down under the Configure menu is Enable Preview Features. That's the setting I want. So when I select that, then I get a different issue. It says, wait a minute, preview features are supported only for compliance level 19. Do you want to change project compliance and JRE to 19? Now it's saying this because it doesn't know about Java 20 yet, even though Java 20 has been out for a few months. There is a plugin I could add to my IDE, which would give it Java 20 support, but that's not the issue. The issue is, remember, this is a preview in 19 and in 20. So I'll just say, yes, go ahead and switch everything to 19. It brings back that same window and now I'm on 19. Now what I had to do that I didn't show you here is download and install a version of Java 19. Now, I think it would work with 20 as well, but what the heck, I installed 19. Now this is already checked. Enable preview features for Java 19 and we're good. And when I say apply and close, all of those preview problems now become warnings and not errors. And if I look at that same class that we saw before, you see everything's compiling, but now in my switch statement, success is a warning saying you are using a preview language feature that may or may not be supported in a future release. Okay, one more quirk. If I want to run Gradle on this project now, and I right click on the project and down under configure, there's another entry here called add Gradle nature. Unfortunately, when I select that, it resets everything back to the previous versions. So I got to go through this process again. I've got to right click again and go configure and enable preview features and agree to the change to 19. And notice, by the way, it says, hey, do you want preview features with severity level? You could select warning or info or ignore. That's I'll leave it as warning. Warning was fine. And now I could do an apply and close. And in my Gradle tasks, now I could go down to verification and test and double click it and everything's running just fine. It's all compiling and running and we're good. So that's the bottom line. Now let me summarize. 
The steps you have to do to go through to enable Java preview features to work in the Eclipse IDE. First, import the project. Fine. And in fact, remember, I generated an Eclipse project and imported it as an existing Eclipse project because that was reliable. I knew that would work from the command line. Then I right clicked on the project and under the configure menu was enable, enable preview features. That, of course, said, do you want to switch the JDK and everything? And I said, sure, change everything to JDK 19 or above. And that took care of the problem. And after that, everything should be fine. <laughs> so it's a bit of an adventure to get all of that stuff to work, but it does eventually work. Now, before I stop here, I want to show you that I found a nice article called enabling Java preview features that was part of a GitHub repository by a Red Hat developer who was actually talking about Visual Studio Code, VS Code. And they discussed what you would do there, but they pointed out that the VS Code Java compiler uses ECJ, which is the Eclipse to, uh, tools. So it's still using the Eclipse Java developer tools. So they pointed out this is how you can enable things in Maven. This is a couple of features we need to set in Eclipse projects and how to do this in Gradle. I took this block, I added it to the Gradle build file, build.gradle.kts. I converted it over to the Kotlin DSL. It's in there, but you notice I still had to invoke Gradle manually or Eclipse task manually because BuildShip, the underlying Gradle integration tool, doesn't invoke it automatically. So I thought I'd give you that link, make sure you knew about this, and now you should be able to do everything in there. Now, if you find this interesting or helpful, I mean, I don't know how many people are using Eclipse anymore. It's possible I'm making a video that only five people are gonna watch, but those five people are gonna care a lot. <laughs> And if you are an Eclipse person, I should point you to the following video, which is called Importing a Gradle Project into Eclipse, that goes through that in more detail, in case you'd like to see that. So I'm hopefully this is helpful to the people who need it, and that's important enough to make it worthwhile. So good luck, and I hope everything works for you. I'll see you next time in Tales from the Jar Side.